In this movie I will explain you how you can switch on or off a light and you can do this with uh, two buttons and I will show you how you can do this in the rocker function or with a switching or toggle function. So I take my example here and I have for example this input who has been switching this output and an input 2 who is switching the output 2. But I will change and I will take another example. I have a look. Yes. Great. So I will unlink this and I will start from the beginning. And suppose I will use this button to switch on or off uh, this light. And I will have a look to the uh, parameters and I want the rocker function and concepts to be done to the two uh, of them. So I have two rocker functions. This means one rocker exists of two buttons with an on or an off uh, switching mode. So I have a look to the rocker one and I see that the left rocker will be give an on signal, the right rocker will be giving an off signal. And the same with rocker two on and off. So I will drag and drop those two rockers till the output one switching. So this means that with rocker one and two I can uh, turn on the light output one and with rocker one and two the right uh, button I can switch off the same light so that's not a problem so one thing that's maybe interesting is also the feedback so I can see on the LED that the light has been turned on or off and I will make a group light living room great so now I have to have a look if the output actuator switch actuator output one has a feedback signal from one byte to send to the those two rockers and I have a look first of all to the rocker one and two and I see that there is a status LED and the status LED I can control it via sub, uh, separate LED object so I see again one bit object here that is appearing and when this object will receive one then the status LED in rocker one will uh, light up and the same for rocker two so I have two separate LED objects and LED objects I will connect to this group address LED 1 and 2. So this one, uh, those two uh, objects are listening to a signal coming from the actor and I have to look to the actor if the output 1 or 2, in my case it's output 1, has also a uh, feedback telegram I see here output one feedback telegram I will activate it no inversion active mes message object so this means when the uh, lamp will be turned on then it will send a one and that is the thing I want to have so I see there's also switching feedback one bit object and I will connect it to the feedback here and this is then the output one status um, output one for the switch back uh, switch actuator when for example the light is, uh, has been turned on then it will send an 1 to the status LED light will go on then when it sends an off the light will go out so that's what I want so that's clear second example is instead of using a rocker maybe I want to use the buttons so when I go back to my parameters and I see the operation concept instead of using rockers a rocker exists of one uh, of two buttons I want this will uh, disassociate my uh, group addresses but that's no problem I will start over and then I see instead of two rocker objects I have four button objects because one rocker exists of two buttons now it's separated uh, four buttons and you can program you can use them separately for example I want to use the button one for only uh, using the toggle function so I want to toggle, this is new, I can also say but one is for on function uh, second one is for the off function then it's a little bit the same like I used it in a rocker function but now I will be using the button one for example for a, a toggle function and button three for also the toggle function great then what do we have to do? I use one and three, I select them and I connect them to the group address 001 and I see that when I will be pushing the 1 or 3 I can um, turn on or off the light 
from the output one switch actuator but maybe I could have a problem when button one sends his signal one then the output will be turned on but button three doesn't know that the light has already been switched on so when you push then button three he will send also a one and nothing will happen and you have to press again the button and then the, the light will go uh, out and that's the thing I said to avoid pressing twice that those two buttons have to know from each other if they already sent a 1 or a 0 and they have to know what's the status of the output so the status of the output I know it by the switching a feedback object from the output so when I can for example first of all I will use again the status LED I will activate it again so I can see the control LED and the button 1 and in the button 3 and I will in any case connect them here so the output same uh, as in the previous example the output will send a 1 to the light um, the LED 1 and the LED 2 to give the signal that the uh, light has been turned on or off but now I will do something else something more I will also connect again the switching object second twice to the feedback group address so you see because I used it the second one that this object those two objects are not sending but that's not a problem because they are listening to the switching feedback from the actuator and then they will know if the light will be turned on or has been turned on or turned off so they know exactly the status of the moment and then they can send the right signal the one or the two or the zero to um, the output one so that's the trick the programming trick to uh, avoid pressing twice